everybody, how is going? It's a long time that I'm not publishing on my channel, sorry, I was very, very busy with quite a lot of didactic. And indeed, this video is just to support my current course, Zwen 225. In Zwen 225, I'm giving my student an assignment where I'm giving them a little prototype of a game with 300 lines of code in total, and they have to complete it and extend it with some more features, and the result is probably going to be around 400 lines of code. Uh, when this assignment is due, I will probably have another video showing exactly the code of the model solution. In the video of today, I'm going to show how the game will look with all the required improvement for the assignment. That is, I'm not showing you the code of the solution, but I'm going to show you what the code should do. That is, I would expect that in the submitted code, we will have some way to set up the keys. That is, in addition to welcome to compact, the compact Java game, we should have something that looks like this, but you can use other kind of uh, graphics to represent the name for the command and the current key binding, the name for the command and the current key binding, the name for the command and the current key binding. So our commands for the game are up, down, left, right, move the sword to the left and move the sword to the right. Those are the default binding. But if we want, for example, for down to be, I don't know, X instead of S, we can edit it. And when I select away from the text editor, only the last character stays. There are so many other ways to handle the user input to choose which is the new key. This is what I'm doing. In this version, I'm not doing a lot of checks. So for example, if I were to write D, now the key D will actually do two things. Uh, that, that's probably not desirable. A full mark solution should check for those kind of problems. So let's fit back our X as our command to go down and let's start the game, shall we? As you can see, this game has a very Minecraft inspired graphics. You can move the character, you can rotate the sword around and if you get near enough to the monster, the monster will wake up. If you manage to get far away enough, the monster should stop following us. And when we are ready to kill it, we can point the sword toward him. He becomes a dead monster and after a little time out, the dead monster disappears. The first level is clear and we start with the second one. The second one has four monsters, one in one corner, one in the other corner, and then here we have a roaming monster. The roaming monster goes around, so it's harder to find. And here we will have the third monster in the last corner. If uh, we make the third monster hit us, we go back to the starting screen. So if I start the game again, now I can show you the final boss. So we kill the first monster. After a timeout, we start second level. We have to kill those four monsters. One. The game is not checking in any way that we don't get out of the boundary, no problem. Ah, I was distracted and talking. Let, let's try again. So. Monster number one. Again, the game doesn't need to check that I don't go out of the boundary. Monster number two. The roaming monster should be around here. Here it is. Roaming monster. Uh -uh. Ah, near died there. Okay, kill the roaming monster. Kill the monster in this corner and finally kill the monster in this corner. Now we are going to the last level, the level that have the boss monster, that have the sword. The boss monsters behave like a roaming monster. You can see it above here. It just goes around and have a sword that rotates. So it's quite dangerous. Let's see if I take the time right. Okay. And as you can see, when it, 
when the boss monster dies, the rotating sword also disappears. After the timeout, we finish level 3 and we go to a victory screen. And that's the kind of behavior that the game you submit should have. As you can see from the last time, I've reorganized the studio again. So if you have some feedback of the general studio setup, just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and see you next time.